So do you enjoy playing the Nintendo Switch? I do. I love, 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 love playing Nintendo in general. Uh, for years, when I was growing up, got myself the original Nintendo. Check this puppy out. The original Nintendo, how beautiful did it look? Playing the original Super Mario was an absolute treat. And then moving to the Game Boy, through the lineup of the other consoles, all the way up to the Nintendo Switch. And, you, and you've seen these YouTubers, you've seen all these people online on Twitch, and they're like, playing or well, they're showing you the game like how do they actually record the content do you just run a cable into a computer and just record it that way well sort of but not really you actually need a little device to actually be able to record the contents the gameplay of your Nintendo Switch. Hey all, my name is Emilio. I love tech. I love gaming. There are videos every week that we are releasing on this channel that are all about tech, and I know that you'll find them helpful. If you like technology like I do, click on the subscription button on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. You're gonna need two things for this. The first thing is you're gonna need one of these. What is this that you ask? Well, we're gonna cover this a little bit, but essentially it's this little device that you need to plug your computer into and the other end you plug your Switch into, and then that allows you to record the content off your Switch onto your computer, and then you actually can upload it online. This particular one is an HD60S Plus. Now I'm gonna throw a link down below in the description if you wanna go and pick one of these things up. And the way that this thing works is you're essentially gonna run your computer into one end, and then you're gonna have some software on your computer to actually be able to pick up that video stream off your Switch, essentially making your computer like a TV to pick up that stream and then record the content directly onto your computer. Your Nintendo Switch, you're gonna run your little Nintendo Switch into this dock. This is a dock. And if you open up the back of the dock, if you set this thing up in the first place, you can actually see that onto the back of the dock, you've got a couple of things running into it. You've got a HDMI cable, and then you've got a USB-C cable. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna essentially put this thing in the middle. Now you'll notice that on the Elgato itself, there is a HDMI in. And this is where you are gonna be now running out of the back of the switch dock. Instead of running that HDMI cable into your TV, you're gonna run that cable now into this Elgato device. You run it into there instead. The other end is a USB-C port. You can run data through those cables and they can also run power. You actually run one end into that USB-C port on the back of the Elgato. And then the other end is like the old school USB cables, a USB-A cable into the side of your computer, into a laptop, into a desktop. Your Nintendo Switch video signal will pass through that cable into your PC. And you've also got a little audio jack. This is for a microphone in. All of these YouTube streamers that you're hearing talking as they're playing, they're running their headphones, their microphone, and then your video stream that's going into your PC is also passing through the audio signal of you talking. And what's that out cable that you're asking the HDMI out? Well, that is to now run it into your TV. So you can actually record onto your PC while watching it on a very, very large TV because the HDMI is now passing through that device and then out again into your TV like normal. We're now gonna get into our computer and we're gonna show you the software and really how this whole process works. All right, we're gonna plug this puppy in and then on our computer, we're gonna go and open up the interwebs, open up our browser and we're gonna go and navigate to the Elgato website to actually download some software. You're gonna need this software to be able to record the screen and the audio from your computer. And here we go, we're gonna select the model of the Elgato device that we've got. And of course you select the one that you've got, which is the one that we've sort of demoed potentially, and making sure that it says Windows as the option. And you can see that there is a Mac version available if you so need to. This software is compatible across all of them, which is great. So you can click on download, and follow the standard prompts to go and install the software. And here it is right on our desktop. Hopefully if you're running like Windows 10, Windows 11, it should pick up the drivers automatically. You don't have to do anything, but if all has worked, here you go. It's now found the feed for my Nintendo Switch. And here we go, Zelda is available right in here. I can go into the settings area of our Elgato software and you can customize this as much as you need. You can select the sort of the frame rate, the quality, you can adjust the picture, you can adjust where you wanna be able to save the actual video itself. 
You just have to be aware, of course, that the hard drive space is going to fill up because the quality of these Nintendo Switch games can be quite big and quite detailed. So if you want to make sure that you're recording in high quality, get yourself maybe an external hard drive to actually point your actual software into that. You then give it a relevant name as well as the folder name, which could be maybe Zelda Breath of the Wild, and then click on the record button and it'll start to save and record the stream of the video and the audio that is feeding into your computer. You want to make sure that you can see activity there, of course, to make sure that it is actually picking up your audio. You may need to play around with that just a little bit. Once it's saved, good, you're all done. You can then go and find the location of where you saved that video feed double click on it, open it up, and there you have the video feed. And you can then do whatever you want with it, upload it to wherever you need. So there you have it, there were the steps. Let us know down below what you thought. As I said, you can go and pick up one of these. I've thrown the link down below in the description. So go and pick one of those up. They are brilliant. They are absolutely brilliant and really, really easy to use. Go and do that. Subscribe, like, stay tuned for the next video. We continue talking about all things tech as well. We'll catch you on the next one.